Good morning, traders. Welcome to this week's Elliott Wave Forex and Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you all had a wonderful week. It's been a very interesting week in the market, some really good moves, and then uh, all of a sudden we've got some reversal. Is it reversals or is it pullbacks? That is what we're going to be looking at, uh, especially when it relates to Euro US dollar. Before we start with your today's analysis, if you'd like to contact us, you can check out our contact details under the description of all our videos. Please don't forget to drop us a like and you can subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so, so that you can get the notification the next time we upload the videos. Right, so those are the contact details there under the description, our website, elliotwave-principle.com. If you've got that, you've got all our contact details. Uh, you can also contact us via the live chat on the website. If you go to the website live chat uh, on your bottom right hand corner, and you can uh, submit your questions if there's anything that you need assistance with there. Right, so the live chat on, uh, so you can put in your, you can subscribe, you can submit your form there, or you can, this is a live chat form. So they use usually somebody ready to respond to any questions that you may have. Right, talking about that, we have got our course currently running, which ends this coming week. The next one is going to be on the 5th of April, right? So the next course is going to be on the 5th of April. It's a two weeks course. Right, so if you'd like to subscribe for that course, you can do so on the website and all the details regarding the course content and the timing is on the website. So what happens is when you subscribe for the course, immediately you will get the full 10 day course recording. Then you can start watching it even before the April course starts. Right, so that's how that works. So in April, when we do the live course, then you can engage, ask questions, on uh, models, uh, items, topics that you have not fully comprehended. So that's how we, it works. So today I'm gonna start differently. I'm not gonna go through uh, the charts before and after. I want to let you in on a one minute uh, of our live trading room video to show how we were looking at this Euro US dollar move. Right, so let's start with what we looked at in the last week. What were we, what were we expecting or to happen on Euro US dollar? So Euro US dollar, we looked at this corrective structure, which we looked for quite some time. And when we got to this level, we were expecting Euro US dollar to do this. That was on Sunday before we got this move, this, this three wave correction. So during the live trading room, what we saw was that this was actually making a three wave corrective structure. Now, there's always a question that most people drop or ask on the comment section. How come we see you doing the analysis showing structures, but you never use the Fibonacci levels? But we do use the Fibonacci levels. It depends what you want to look at with the FIBs. What are you measuring? So let me give you a one minute sneak preview into what we do into the on the live trading room. So what we do in the live trading room is uh, every day at 8 a.m. GMT, that is about the start of the London time, we go through the charts as we are doing right now, but we go into details, looking for trade opportunities, looking for entries. We also identify stop losses and take profit areas. So remember, we were looking for this to continue pushing up higher on Sunday, right? But how did the market go as it was playing out? So let's go through that video. Uh, this is the live trading room on the 24th of uh, February. So the live trading room, the 24th, I just want to make sure it was 24. It was the Wednesday. So let's play this. So what is currently playing, you'll see also as the video is playing, this is the 24th of February, live trading room, 24 February. As you can see, this was before that uh, Euro US dollar move started playing out. It's only gonna take minutes. So let's uh, take a minute and watch. I'll just narrate over it as it is playing out uh, as I will switch off what I was saying on the video, right? So I'm currently not annotating, I'm just, so that is the Fibonacci level. So what we were projecting is, as it is now going up in three waves, this is not gonna go all the way up. So we are expecting it to reverse at that Fibonacci level, which you would see with the annotation. Okay, so let's let the video play. 
So that was the projection of where we expect the reversal to happen. So that yellow is showing us where we expect the reversal to happen at about 2198, okay? At 1.2198. So I was showing that we're going to get a reversal there on Euro US dollar. But I'll show you another alternative. So what has happened currently, let me just pause the video. This has already happened now. We've already made a reversal, not exactly at 21. We've gone above 22, around 22, 30, 50. But you'll see the exact pinpointed reversal when we project the blue box in a bit. So I'll show you the alternative. So currently what we have got, we've got this push to the upside as was forecasted. And we are now around this level. We are now around this level. OK, so I'm going to stop now and I'm going to let the video play again. OK. So now we are projecting the blue box. And you'll see where we were pinpointing that the reversal is going to happen at, that's just uh, the sketch of the blue box. Now, if you go to your charts, you will see, I'm gonna pause. If you go to your charts, you'll see that the market actually reversed in here, in this area. And this is what happened when we got into the blue box. Let's play this. What you do not see here that we are not sharing is what the indicators were telling us that made us realize that this was not gonna go all the way up and it was going to make a reversal exactly there as we had expected. Okay. So I'm trying to show you how pinpointed our entries are. So let's play it, still playing. Then now that's showing where we expect the reversal to happen. And that is uh, what happened during the live trading room. So that's the one minute I wanted to share with you guys. And I'll share with you the alternative as you see there. So let's go through the markets again now. Let's start with uh, the US dollar pairs. And we'll start with Euro US dollar as we've just been explaining what we expected to happen here. All right, so Euro US dollar, let's start. We started with the market analysis now. Right, so we were looking for these to do that and then upside. Now that did not happen. We did not get that upside. We got a move to the upside as expected. And we are now, we have now reversed at exactly 2240 as forecasted. That is the blue box area. Right, so now we've got this level here. Let's show what we, ex what we expect to happen now. So the next possibility for Euro US dollar is this. We could get a corrective structure here and get another move to the downside. This is still a corrective structure as well. So this is three waves down, three waves up. Okay, this corrective structure does not necessarily have to happen at current levels. This corrective structure can happen around these levels. So what would we be expecting? This could be a three wave pullback as follows, WXY, right. Now, remember what we were looking at. This is still a bullish move and I want to go uh, to this level here. I want to go to the chart that we had the last time on Euro US dollar. Uh, this is actually the latest one. I wanted to get the one before this. I hope I can find it. Let's see if I can find it before the move. Okay, oh, it's, oh, it's already, the, the website is already updated, unfortunately. So there is a possibility that this is actually just starting the one, two, and it is going to give us one, two, three, four, five to the upside, because that was the expectation. But let's wait for what the market is gonna give us. If we're gonna get a corrective structure here, it's gonna confirm that the structure that we're gonna get is a simple WXY, WXY structure like this, and then we're gonna resume and move to the upside. What this will do, however, is invalidate this whole wave count to the upside because as you will see this will now have been a wave four which comes into the territory of wave one so that will invalidate the count to the upside so the view is still that there is a possibility that we're going to get this so let's wait for confirmation here and see what we get around this area on euro us dollar so in the next coming session we'll see what happens with the euro us dollar okay right so let's have a look at uh, the dxy now the DXY, a very similar structure, but in this case, 
it was just the inverse of what is happening in with the euro us dollar so one two three to the upside one two three waves to the downside we have now broken above the structure here so we could be getting another one two three waves to the upside giving us a wxy structure on the dxy this is the likely move on the dxy and the likely move on euro us dollar so euro, euro us dollar is exactly the same structure as, as follows so just the inverse of the two. So WXY here, corrective structure, and we'll expect a resumption of the move to the downside, to the upside, as long as it does not invalidate uh, the rules. Okay, as long as it does not break the rules, this is what we're gonna expect of the Euro and the DXY. Right, let's continue with the rest of the market. Euro, US dollar, pound, US dollar. Now, pound US dollar is very interesting. And some of the structures that I'm going to look at now, I'm going to look at them uh, in the higher degree so you can see where this is coming from. So we've got a strong impulsive move from 142 on pound, but 142, 143 on pound US dollar. And uh, we've now made a 300 pip, almost a 300 pip move to the downside, 200 pip really. But does this mean that this is the reversal in is pound ready to make a move to the downside? There are two possibilities. Let's answer that question. Let's look at the structure that I showed you previously. Why were we expecting pound to push up higher in the first place? The reason why we we're expecting pound to push up higher was we were expecting this structure. This is on the weekly now. We did not quite reach this level and that is not a train smash. Can pound reverse at current levels? Yes, it can reverse at current levels and that will be an, a, a running flat. But can it still push up higher and go retest the level before pushing lower? That is also a possibility. So now what do we do in that case? In that case, we don't do anything. I'm not worried about missing 200 pips here if this is gonna do something like this and then continue to the upside. So even when this started the move to the upside, I didn't get the first move here. This, almost 400 pips to the upside I did not get, but we were able to get the rest. As much as we kept expecting the reversal, we kept buying the pound, expecting it to get to that level. So even if I do miss a big move like this, it does not matter because when I get into that trade, then it's almost a high probable trade that you almost cannot lose because you can. the direction is already confirmed. The indicators will also confirm the structure that we will be looking at. So that is pound US dollar. Unfortunately, you have to wait a bit on this one. Let's go to the four hour again. Four hour is just a simple impulse, but I'll, I'll, let me rather go to the daily and see what we get there. So on the daily, structurally, what you could get, be getting here is this. Three waves up, this is a three wave pull back here in X. This could be another three waves. You get that, you get that. What will that do? The structure will be something like this. A move in three waves to the upside where we're gonna now take that top. So let's watch this. If you get a decent correction like this, whether it's a flat, whether it's a zigzag, doesn't matter. We'll be looking for that. So currently we are pulling back. Is this a tradable move to the downside? That depends on your strategy. If you are able to trade short term, you can take the move. Right, let's look at uh, US dollar chief. So US dollar chief looks to be making a three wave structure to the upside. This has been made so this is making what looks like a three wave structure to the upside here. We're gonna see a bit of a push to the upside on US dollar chief X as, as we're expecting the DXY to push up higher as well. Right, so that is the expectation on US dollar chief. Right, US dollar CAD. US dollar CAD has made a bounce. Now, are we ready to get a Three wave pullback. Remember, US dollar CAD is not done with the move to the upside. With the DXY pushing up higher in the next coming sessions, we will be looking for this structure. Okay, a bit of a push to the upside and then downside with the DXY pushing up higher. Remember what I've been showing you for a while on US dollar CAD. The upside moves should not get you excited because there's the structure on uh, US dollar CAD. It is not a structure that you can be buying now. So if we look at this, we've got three waves in 20, that started in 2016. We've got three waves around 2018, 19. We've got this impulsive move to the downside. So US dollar CAD, 
is has been making this impulsive move to the downside and we are expecting it to get around this level so a pullback here in three waves does not change the structure one bit we're still going to look for this to get to this level it's just a short-term pullback on the us dollar you audi us dollar now audi us dollar as well if you look at the daily we've got a deep pullback or a, a, what looks like a what some will call a uh, bearish engulfing candle expecting a reversal and that's a weekly candle it's possible that we're getting a deeper corrective structure on audi us dollar we've had it before anyway here so that is nothing new on audi us dollar so we could be getting this gift this one here this could even be a bit deeper than this because this can also go to around the 38 percent reversal of this whole move so that is what we're going to be looking at on uh, audi us dollar so we've got this if i go to the lower time frame you're just going to see one big, big candle to the downside so the structure here was one two three four and a five so do not be surprised if you see a reversal at 38 or even 50% of this before a resumption of the move to the upside. So if that is the case and we get confirmation, this will be a traded bull move. As long as it is not going down correctively, if it's coming down sharply like this, that will be a traded move, tradable move. New Zealand to US dollar, let's go to the daily. It's the same thing as well as you can see one two three four we've reached uh, we reached the fifth wave here are we going to get a deeper pullback let's see here in the four hour what we're getting on uh, new zealand so very very interesting structures and by interesting i mean very clear structures in the, in the uh, currently so let's have a look here so there was a possibility that we could have looked at this structure as an expanding flat but this uh, or a running flat we cannot look at that that has broken the rules okay it has broken the rules of an expanding flat, so it does not qualify to be an, uh, an expanding flat. So that means that this was the correction and this was the last move uh, to the upside. Are we going to see this? That is the expectation. I'm showing you a zigzag here. It does not have to be a zigzag. This can be a flat, it can be a flat. So let's see what we're gonna get there on New Zealand. If we go to the daily, That's what we have here. So we could be getting a pullback to around these levels. Let's watch and see, wait for confirmation. Right, so this is not time yet to confirm selling against the US dollar or buying the US dollar. This is a simple impulse, which could actually just continue to the upside like this. So do not get involved as yet, wait for those confirmations. So US dollar ZAR has done exactly what we've been expecting of it for weeks. Okay, for weeks we've been expecting US dollar ZAR to give us a bounce from current levels to around this level and we are well on our way there. So we started with this year, we started with a W, X, Y, X, Z. Since last year we've been expecting this structure as it was coming down. Could we get there now the reversal there to the upside? Right, let's see what we get. Could we get this one to come one more down and then upside? You can see which structure we'll be expecting if that happens. Pound yen. So pound yen, similar to pound US dollar, as you can see. Uh, let's go to the weekly as well. So you can see what we are looking for on pound yen. This is the structure. We're still expecting this to get to this level. If it reverses there, that's going to make a running flat. That's why we need to wait for a confirmation. But we still want pound yen to push up to that level. In the bigger degree, we still want to see uh, higher degrees, um, higher levels on pound yen. Right, so let's have a look. What are we getting currently? Are we getting con current confirmation of downside? So pound yen, we could be getting a structure like this before we continue to the upside. This is still very bullish. The, just because we've heard about the 200 people, 300, it's actually a 200 people move to the downside here, does not mean that it's time to be selling. I mean, you can see that this is a very strong move to the upside. It's almost a parabolic move to the upside, and this is not ready for downside as yet. Uh, US dollar yen, we have been looking at this for a while. I've shown you this uh, under trade setups uh, last week. Uh, I've shown you this under trade setups last week, and that is still the expectation on a Euro US dollar, uh, the Euro news, Euro yen rather. Let me see if I can find Euro yen here. I want you to see the chart before. Uh, let's admit all this. I'm still looking for the Euro US dollar chart. So let's just look at the latest one. 
So I can't find the one before. Let's have a look here on the yen pairs. We'll look at Euro yen. So Euro US dollar, last week I showed you the setup from here where we expected this to push up higher, to come down here and continue to the upside. Now we are currently around 106 level. Maybe the scale is not so clear. We are around 106.50. This has already happened and we are already making a push to the upside. We still expect more upside on US dollar yen. We're still expecting more upside on US dollar yen. This is how this is playing out. So expect more upside. Obviously it does not go in a straight line. We're gonna keep getting corrective structures and then upside. So look for more upside. Euro yen. Now Euro yen, very interesting structure. I want you to look at this from the four hour and then we're gonna go up to the higher time frame. What do we expect from this? This looks like a five wave structure from this level looking like a one two three this actually breaks the rules so let's go higher on to the daily you will see how clear this structure is on euro yen let's look at the daily and you tell me what you expect right you can see that there's a pullback on on the four hour but does that mean that it's time to sell? Now, if you look on the daily, look how clear this structure is. And we're gonna to go to the weekly as well, so you can see. This is a three wave move to the upside. This is a three wave move to the downside. This looks like another three waves to the upside, but it looks like it is still gonna to continue to the upside. So we can still get, even if you see that pull back here in the lower degree, this could still be continuing to build this corrective structure here. But where does this come from? This, thing, this is the part that you guys don't usually see because we don't show this during this weekly webinars. What are we looking for in the overall structure? This is the part that you don't really see. This is what you don't see. So I've just shown you these three waves that I still expect to continue higher. So what am I expecting? There's three waves there. That is how this one played out previously. We had three waves there. Now, what do we expect here? We're expecting another three, to the upside. I must actually just do this. Let me just fix this one and show the, you the right degrees. This would actually be something like this. These three waves is one single wave. We can get this deeper one and then upside. Let's fix this one up here as well and show it with the yellow degree. Three waves to the upside as follows. This will be the same color as well. One, two, three. Now where we are currently is here. We've made these three waves. One, two, three. What are we expecting here? We'll expect a deeper three wave structure. The same way we had, you just can't see it clearly anymore. We had three waves there and then a pullback. There was another three waves there and then there was another three waves there. There was another three waves there. There was another three waves there. So this just goes up in three waves. So we're still expecting another three waves after this pullback. So this is how you can look at the market from lower degrees to the higher time frame. Obviously, that is the process that we don't go through that process. So you could be looking at this structure, but I'm not going to go through that. For now, we're just going to look at this W X Y structure. So that's why we're still expecting Euro Yen. And this is why I'm saying the structures are very clear. So the more we get these big moves, the more it uh, brings to light what we are looking for. Chief Yen, so Chief has been bearish in the last week. It's the, the Chief Yen, Chief, Chief currency specifically has been weak in the last couple of sessions. So looking at this on the weekly, this is what we're expecting on Chief. But currently we are in this corrective structure, so we may still see Chief pushed a little bit higher to build this corrective structure. Let's go back to the one hour. So I think you've got an idea of what we're expecting here. So let's have a look here. In the one hour, this looks like it's just going to continue to the downside again. So the Chief still looks like the, the weakness is going to continue in the next week. So that's the expectation on Chief Yen. KDN, bit of a pullback. I'm expecting this one to continue pushing up higher uh, because this usually follows US dollar yen. So expect more upside. Again, if we just go to the daily, see where this is coming from, are we expecting upside? It's because of this. So this could have ended the three waves up, three waves back and three waves to the upside. We could be getting a deeper correction here. So very 
likely that we do get this and this is a big move so this can be tradable to the downside before we expect any upside on cat so very very beautiful structures uh, look at uh, new zealand yen also has made three waves up three waves back and uh, three waves to the upside uh, we're now getting a deeper correction here possibilities so that we're going to be in corrective structures so unfortunately this way most people lose money if you've been making money here and we're getting this corrective structure wait for it to build up because you're going to get a resumption of the move to the upside okay so audi us audi yen as well same same structure five five waves up three waves back and five waves up is it time for now now to get a three wave pullback and then upside so i'm i'm looking at the daily guys because if i just go to the one hour you're not going to see anything other than just this one single impulse so this single impulsive move to the downside does not mean anything. We need, just need to get a, a corrective structure to see if we're going to get a trade to the downside, even if it is short term. Right. Gold. Let's go again to the higher degrees structure on gold. What have we been saying about gold? So gold, we've been saying that gold is not ready for a move to the upside. And at this point, we expected that we're going to maybe have a bounce to give us this structure, but that's not the structure we're getting on gold. So, so far, uh, on gold, let's have a look here on the structure that we could possibly get. So we could have on gold, these three waves down, three waves up and three waves down here. And we've got this one as an X wave. It is the same degree, but I'm just putting it there with a different color so you can see. So we've got this move, we could keep getting a bounce and a move to the downside on gold. So that would be a WXY structure. Again, this will invalidate this will invalidate the wave count that we have on gold to the upside. Let me show you what's going on on gold here currently. So this move can still happen to the upside. Why have we been looking at this as a corrective structure and then looking for upside? This is the part that you guys don't see. Let's go to the weekly chart on gold. So that is a very small move compared to where we are on gold. Look where we are. So we've started with the move to the upside from the 1970s uh, on gold. That's as far as the chart starts. We've got the three wave pullback here. Now we've started with the impulsive move to the upside. Look at this impulse here. We started with this. So this is a one, two, three. Now this is a wave four. Okay, so that's why we're not worried about what happens to gold here. We will eventually we're going to see gold push up higher when this structure is complete. So why are we tracking this structure for weeks and, and trying to understand where it's going? We're trying to get where this structure completes so that we can get the next leg. That's all we are doing here on gold. Now, silver on the weekly as well. Let's have a look at silver on the weekly. Silver on the weekly, if we see silver coming down, it's simply because of this structure. Three waves down, three waves up. We're looking for this, and we'll be looking for this one to continue pushing up higher. So that's the structure that we're going to be looking at on silver. Are we going to get downside? Let's go to the lower time frames. Okay, so the lower time frame on silver. You guys remember that we were looking at silver to do this and to do that, and it is already happening. So we're going to expect that to continue to the downside if we can get confirmation for the downside or if we get a trade set up around that level it's playing out exactly as forecasted some people were still expecting upside on silver and gold but the structures were saying otherwise okay so platinum the reason why i want to show you platinum is this weekly chart platinum looks like even if we've got a pullback currently Whatever pullback we're going to get that is similar to what we're getting with gold, we're going to get eventually another move to the upside. This is a very strong policy move to the upside, and we're still going to get upside on platinum. So this pullback, wait for it to complete or build a corrective structure, and then we'll look for upside. Brent crude. Brent crude. Is it time for a corrective structure? This can still push up higher. This can still push up higher. Let's see how far that's going to go. No sign of reversal yet. It's just a slight pullback ready. It's correcting for further upside. Pound chief, very interesting on pound chief. So pound chief, let's have a look here. Pound chief can still push up much higher. Can still push up much higher up to these levels. All right, so, but there's a possibility for another structure, which is this. And if this reverses from current levels, it will make a running flat. 
as follows. But I don't expect that reversal there yet. Let's look in the lower degree and see what we're getting on pound chief. So pound chief has been pushing, rolling up higher because of the weakness in the chief and the strength in the pound. So what do we get here on pound chief? Are we gonna get a pullback here? Let's look at this on pound chief before you rush into selling pound chief. The same thing that has happened previously with uh, the Euro. Uh, let's have a look here. One, two, I'll talk about what happened with the Euro previously. One, two, three, four. So you can get a sell setup for downside here on chief. And then it starts correcting like this. Okay, now you think it's going up. It starts correcting, you get another five waves to the downside. What you essentially just getting is a three wave pullback and a continuation to the upside eventually. So do not rush this year on a pound chief. It looks like we're gonna get this, we're gonna get that downside, we're gonna get a deeper pullback, and then we're gonna get continuation to the upside. All right, uh, that is pound chief, pound cat. Pound cat is already looking upside. So we we're expecting that we may have a pullback on pound cat at these levels. We're looking at this structure on pound cat, one, two, three. Possibility of a reversal at that point, doesn't look likely. We've got a corrective structure and this is gonna continue pushing up higher. So pound cat is going to push to the upside still. Pound Audi, now pound Audi, very interesting. You've got a trade set up for the week. This is the trade for the week. So pound Audi, you will be looking for this move. Okay, so this is the move, this is the correction. You are looking for pound Audi to get around these levels, around 185. So look to buy pound Audi in the next coming sessions. Get an entry based on your strategy. We've got, we know when to enter when we've got 100% confirmation, but this will be a trade of the week uh, on pound Audi. And if you look at uh, this setup here on pound Audi for a while, uh, let me just check here on the pound pass. You'll see when that move was forecasted. Uh, let's look at the pound pass. That move was forecasted a while back. From the 30th of January, as you can see, we've been waiting for pound Audi to build up that corrective structures. Even at even if so, at some point we expected that this could be a, a move to the downside, we were mindful of that fact that there's a possibility of that structure. So when it was Coming down correctively, that we realized that that was going to make a move to the upside. Now it looks like it is set for a move to the upside, and it looks like it is done. So this is how we forecast the markets well before uh, they play out. New Zealand, New Zealand is showing us move to the upside, and I'm showing you on the daily as well. This is usually correlated to pound Audi. So you, the New Zealand, you've got three waves up here. We've got three waves down here, and we'll be looking for another three waves to the upside. W X, Y structure on pound New Zealand. Okay, right, I do, I, we, obviously we were expecting this structure last week when this one was making a move to the downside. We were expecting this confirmation for a downside, looking at this as a corrective structure to have ended here. That did not happen. So that means we're still gonna see more upside with this corrective structure here. So pound New Zealand and pound Audi expect further upside in the next coming sessions. Euro pound a bit of a bounce because of that strike of the pullback on the pound pace. So we've got this sharp move here. Is this a reversal? Looks like we're still just going to continue lower here uh, on Euro pound. Euro Audi, we've got a bit of a bounce. Interesting. We're going to, that's what, what you're seeing here uh, is that we have seen Audi US dollar, uh, New Zealand US dollar. They are making these deep pullbacks. You've seen the reversal on Audi US dollar where they're making the deep pullbacks. That means short-term weakness on the Audi, short-term weakness on the New Zealand. So we should see the pullback. Uh, just see all on a second here. Uh, all right, so what you're seeing is the short-term weakness in the Audi and you're gonna expect a bit of a pullback. Even if it's a three wave pullback around these levels, you're gonna then see continuation to the downside. We're not worried about this. We worried, we're only looking to get a confirmation for at least a three-way pullback. What you see here on Euro Audi, just same same way that it, you, we have it on uh, Pound Audi is that we have made this three-wave pullback, three-wave downside here. And are we gonna get this one to do that? Is this move to the downside complete? Or we're still gonna see one more down. So currently we've got this. Let's see if we're gonna get that. 
it's only a pullback, not a reversal. Same as Euro Audi, no confirmation for that move to play out to the upside yet. Yes, we've got an impulse. We've seen the impulse on the four hours, but is this just not going to do this and then continue to the downside? We wait for that confirmation. We're not going to rush in. Eurocad, Eurocad, very interesting structure on the daily. I've shown this one before. Upside here, three wave pullback, one, two, three, and we'll be looking for this to push up higher around these levels. What will that give us? A, B, C corrective structure. Okay, so that means you're gonna be expecting a pulsing move there on the C. Euro chief should follow Euro US dollar. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, Euro chief. So Euro chief, we expect, we're looking at it as follows. This is a regular flat. It is not a contracting flat. The specific rules for a regular flat, unfortunately, they simply say that if this is an A, this is a B, this is a C, your B will end around the start of A, your C will end around the end of A. There is no specific FIB levels for this, so we're expecting this move on uh, Euro shift, a three wave move, similar to what Euro US dollar has done, now we're expecting at least a move down here. If we break lower than this, we're gonna expect even more downside on Euro shift and continuation to the downside, okay? So let's have a look here on the bigger structure on the weekly, on uh, Euro chief, and why this could be a continuation pattern to the downside. So if you look at Euro chief, we have looked at this move a couple of months back, if not the year before. This has been coming down with this wave. Now it has made this three wave pullback. What is happening here is a simple WXY structure. Are we gonna get another one like this? Say we can get another W, X, Y here, the same way we've got it there. Same way, very, pos very likely possibility that we get this to even go to the lows at 0.95. As you can see, we started with these three waves to the upside and three waves to the upside, three waves down. So we're gonna be expecting this, either three waves or an impulsive move. That's how simple that is. But we don't just look at this structure. This is part of the bigger structure. We have to look at the bigger structure. Right, so that's Euro Chief. Euro New Audi New Zealand. Audi New Zealand, we are sideways. I'm on the weekly here. So we're looking for this to do that. We're currently sideways. This is going to make a move to the upside. Let's go to the lower degrees for our. So expect a bit of a pullback for Audi New Zealand to come down around these levels. We're still sideways. The whole move here is sideways. So for the rest, I am going to go to the daily because if I just go to the four hour, all you're going to see is this move, is this impulse, which does not mean anything at this stage. So for the rest of the cross pass, let's look at the daily chart. You'll get a clear view of what to expect in the next coming sessions. Look at Audi US dollar. Audi CAD rather, one, it's actually a five we've moved this one. This is one, two, three, four, and a five. Are we going to start getting a pullback here to the 38 to 50%? Let's see, that will be the structure. When we get around these levels, we'll expect continuation to the upside. Audi CAD, that is Audi CAD. Audi Chief, this one is three waves, one, two, three. Are we gonna get a three wave pullback as well here? That is the expectation. New Zealand cat. Three, three, five. Three, 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 rather. Are we gonna get something like this? Let's wait for that. Wait for this, we've got a small impulsive move here. Let's see if we're gonna get that pullback. New Zealand chief. You can see they all have same structures. Five up, three back, and five up. We're gonna be looking for this. Cat chief. Cat chief, it's a move to the upside in three waves. It's a three wave move to the downside, three waves up. Looks like we're gonna get this on cat chief. Downside, back to the downside here, and then a move to the upside before we continue lower. Let's look at the indices. This is the end of the e move on the indices. Let's go to the website here to get some of the charts here. 
red, S&P 500. Let me just refresh here, make sure that we've got the latest charts. That's the latest chart on the S&P 500. We're expecting continuation to the upside. So we're not done with the indices. With whatever is happening currently, we're expecting continuation to the upside. And I'm not gonna look at them on the daily so you can see. If I look at them on the one hour or the four hour, it just looks like an impulsive move to the downside, right? So what we are still expecting here is these three waves down here and then upside. You've seen the structure and we're still expecting upside. Even if we're gonna see a bit of a pullback, a bit of a move to the downside, we're still expecting upside. That's S&P 500, the Dow, same structure. We've got a pulsing move here. Are we gonna get this one to do this? And then upside again, let's watch that. The Nasdaq, Nasdaq has made this sharp move to the downside, a pullback, downside here. Looks like it's correcting here. We can get something like this on the Nasdaq. One down before we make a move to the upside. So we may be in these corrective structures for some time. Let's look at the UK 100. The UK 100 looks really interesting on the four hour. UK 100, remember we ended the three-way move around here. And since then we have been correcting with this structure. A pulsing move down, a three-way pullback. Now it looks like we're gonna get another pulsing move to the downside. That's where we are with the UK 100. We've just broken lower here. So any pullback here, we could be looking for this to come down here. DAX. Again, another one where we expect a three-way pullback before resumption of the move to the upside. Nothing has changed. That is the DAX, the Nifty, rather the Nikkei, also making a three-wave pullback yesterday. It has made a three-wave structure and we're expecting continuation, but we can see that this has already made a significant move to the upside. So what we want here is a deeper correction for continuation to the upside. So expect this on the Nikkei. Nifty. That's the last one here on the indices. So Nifty, we're expecting a three wave pullback as follows, and then continuation to the upside still. That's all I have for you this week, guys. So, so the market is looking very interesting, but you need to wait a bit and be patient. Trade responsibly. Don't forget to hit that like button or the subscribe button if you have not already done so. Right, we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.